Well, I can't believe it, Dave. They've left Luke in charge of the weekly shop again. Absolutely, Bob. Haven't they learned their lesson? Oh, apparently not. Looks like they're in for another week of mini scotch eggs and cheesy strings. Vinny, are you... Are you being serious about this? Oh, yes. That's it's my version of as much as you can eat. As much as you can carry. Why blackberries? Blackberries are the emperors of fruit. You don't know that. You know, you should study these things at school, you know. Blackberries make it a little bit more intelligent. Right, you, you convinced me, Vinny. I'll have some, thank as you. As many as you can carry, mind. Six kids, chosen from thousands, living together on the world's largest film set. Ten weeks, ten extraordinary challenges. Will they cope? Will they survive? Will they win? I wouldn't be so sure. In a town they call Dangerville. Oh, yeah. What, do you want another creep? Oh, please. You have not eaten all them already. Luke, I love you. Thank oh, you no. so much. First time we've done some good shopping. Can can always do if we all go together, we can carry at least 20 boxes each. Yeah. Getting a bit fussy now. I'm just going to go sit down. Mm. Oh, I'll forget it. Do you know what? Put that. Sit down. Can you get these plants? Mm. Yeah, you can grow them. Because apples, you grow an oh, apple tree. You're going to carry some more, you know. I know. Well, we could get that. And then that. you yeah. lot up to the mirror. What? <laughs> Wake up, wake up. What? Wake up. You lot, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Look. Look. What's going on? This place is filthy. Oh, wicked. Good morning. What do you mean, morning? Look. Oh, yeah. Are we still in the show? Oh, I suppose so. They can't do this. They can't just dump us in a barn with those animals. Well, I thought you liked animals. So people are actually going to see me in these clothes? Oh, this is woeful, man. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Look at this. What? Here. Yeah. My no way! No one actually said anything Huge. about this. I know, because yeah, if they I did, I wouldn't have signed up for it. Oh, so whingy, and I think it's wicked. Vinny, <laughs> what are you lot doing? Do you want your heads chopped off? Come on, get your things together and let's go before somebody sees. What young about? Lord Crunkhorn. But if you find you're not working, you done for? Crunkhorn, you mean the mayor? The lord of the manor, you idiot! Now let's get going! Come on! Come on, we Well, I have to say, Bob, I've never seen anything quite like it. Yes, Dave, they've really pushed the boat out on this one. Just when you thought you had this show sus, they pull the rug from under your feet. Mm-hmm. And talking of rugs, I have to say, you look ridiculous. Speak for yourself, Bob! Can I have one but of these pies? Oh, this sorry, son, crazy. those pies are for Lord Crunkhorn. <laughs> He thinks they're going to stop him get the plague. Well, I don't argue. Just charge him double. So has this place got the plague, then? Oh, not yet, thank God. And hopefully it never will, but you can't be too careful. Oh! 
I think I was trying to some dog poo. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't the dog that did that. What do you mean? Oh, oh that is disgusting. Oh, right, get one of these each and go and join the others and hopefully the Lord's men won't see you. What do you mean we've actually got to work? Everybody works in this town, Silas, if you want to live. Right, I've got pies to deliver. What? See you later. This is like proper get your hands dirty work, isn't it? Boys it's supposed to be a game show. Hey Jackney, what's going on? Are you ready? What? It's the harvest. Come on, get scything. We've got to clear this whole field this week or else he'll have us. You mean Crunkhorn? It's Lord Crunkhorn to you. If he hears you calling him that, he'll lock your head off. Come on, get on with it. Jack? Yeah? Why have you got mice stuck to your ears? Oh, they're plague mice. Latest way of keeping the plague off. You better have some. Oh. Don't worry, they don't bite. Uh. Stick them around your ears, you'll be all right. And now joining us live in the commentary box is the actor and history buff, Tony Robinson. Tony, thanks very much for being here. Hi, great to be here. Yeah, good. Um, now, Tony, you've seen the setup. You've mm -hmm. seen the um, the uh, mice on the ears. Um, is any of this remotely accurate? Oh yes, the, the this plague, the Black Death, is what it was called, ended up killing about a third of the entire population. And by that time, people were going in for all sorts of crazy cures, like uh, trying to eat rocks and insects and stuff like that. Although Jack's dingly dangly mice on the ears, that's new to me. You know, we're only little, we're only small, yeah? And you, you put us out in the field and you made us work hard, yeah? The next day I woke up, my body was absolutely killing me. I don't know how much more of this they can take. Fine. Oh, those sides, they were rubbish. I mean, we were going at it for ages and you didn't get anywhere. Honestly, you know the amount of work we did that day, we could have done it in, what, let's say, ten minutes on a combine harvester. Come and get your pay! Finally, finally. Oh, Come and get your pay! This can't be the challenge, can it? What, chop up a load of corn? You must what? be joking. Right, that's 20. Minus four for the water, five for the plague mice, and ten in tanks. That leaves you with one. What? You heard me. Now move along. But I didn't even use the plague mice. They still had to be killed, didn't that's they? That's not fair. It's not my job to be fair. Next. What? I don't think so. I'm not having this. I'm having it all. You really shouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I think I should. These people deserve better pay for the amount of work you make them we'll do. We'll see what Lord Crunkhorn's got to say about that. Lord Crunkhorn, it has a lovely ring to it, don't you think? So much better than mere man. Brian, please don't count this up too much. Me, Gloria, come. It's not possible. Right, come on, there's your fanfare, you're on. You just can't treat people like this, you know. We can, and we do. What's that? Oh, it's Crunkhorn. What's he riding in? It's the Sedan Chair 3000. Nice model. Specially designed to keep the player out. What, what the devil's going on? Rebellious peasants, sir. That one stole all the wages. What? Seize him! I've had just about enough of peasant impertinence. He hasn't changed, does he? If it weren't for me, you peasants would be starving. Yeah, well, we virtually are anyway. No, Andre, don't. Blimey, he is a cocky one. Perhaps he won't be so cocky when his head is on the chopping block. You can't do that. I booked up until five, but, ah! Oh, I can squeeze your beheading in at about six o'clock. Is that fine for everybody else? No. Yeah, you can't do that. I think you'll find I can. Right, let's be off. You might as well uh, bring him with us. Not too close. He might have the plague, you know. Why can't we go as well? You're just going to leave him to go with Who you. Who is that young lady over there? That's Olivia, your lordship. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, dear. I have to say, Tony, that's pretty harsh treatment in my book. It was pretty much par for the course back then. Peasants got hung, nobles got beheaded. You might just lose a few limbs if you were really lucky. Will Andre die 600 years before he is born? Discover the awful truth now on Dangerville. Ah! Oh, that's going down my back as well. Ah! 
Oh, oh, haven't you got a board of this yet? Me! Wait, wait, put it back! Oh, Leave it under me! Put it back in it! Andre, you're right! Andre, you're right! Oh, no, I really, look at the state of my hair! Oh, oh I'll my get God. you out, I promise! But is there yeah, anything really. you oh, want? Just, Are you hungry? Yeah, just a bit. Oh, Vinny, are you sure we can't have one of those pies, please? What did I tell you? I only sell pies to the Lord, not peasants, and certainly not criminals. Yeah, but look at him, he's starving, Vinny, please. No, all right then, but make it look like you've thrown it. Come see me, There you go, you thief! What? You thief! Oh, sorry, no, oh, sorry. Sorry, who wants to see me test out this chopping block then? What? Wait, you're the executioner as well? It's well, you have to take as many jobs as you can round here and make ends meet. Oh, can't you help us? I mean, can't you miss or something? Well, lose my head and all. Sorry, love, no chance for that. Oh, God, this is a waste of time. We're never going to get in free. Oh, my gosh, this is horrible. <gasps> oh, oh, my God! God. Oh, that's really going to chase, Bob. Oh, nasty. Oh, I can't stand this. But see, we've blown it, haven't we? We've oh, blown the challenge. What, what does that mean, Andre? Oh, no. We're not going to have a full team anymore, are we? Sorry about this, Andre. Is there anything you'd like to say before I put this bag over your head and we get on with it? Well, yes, actually, there is. I'd like to say the way I've been treated is disgusting. Shouldn't have been locked up in the stocks. Look at the state of me. Look at my hair. This isn't the end, Crunkle, and you're not going to get away with it. And you lot, you should know better. He's got you working in a field for what? A penny? You can't even get a plague mask for that. It's disgusting. You should all team together and get that Crunkle out of this town. You'd all understand if you had land of your own. Honestly. Oh, and uh, sort yourself out with a combine harvester. Let's get on with it. Anything you say? Yeah. Anything. Goodness gracious me, I would never have expected that from Olivia, Bob. Well, she obviously has really strong feelings for Andre. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guards, cancel the execution. Prepare the manor for a wedding. A wedding? What? I'm not marrying you. I'm afraid, my dear, you have little choice if you want your friend to live. But why? Well, the king's tax is crippling me. But married couples can claim back 40%. So it really would be beneficial to get hitched before the end of the financial year. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Very well. Kill him! No, please, no, honestly, all right. I'll marry you. <laughs> I can't believe that it's going to be a wedding. Would you marry a 14th century lord for tax purposes? This is one knot that mustn't be tied. Tonight on Dangerville. What could you into her? A deep leg in it, I think, making sure she hasn't got any of the symptoms. Symptoms? Like what? Oh, you know, uh, coughing, sneezing, having a tongue go black. Are you absolutely sure she hasn't got it? As sure as we can be. I've done this, sir, and she won't eat any of those rocks and insects. What, do I look as if I've got the black death? Like, if you all had a wash every now and then, or didn't poo in the streets, then it wouldn't have been a problem in the first place. Very well. Let her in. Right, we need to work out how we're going to rescue her. And we could just storm it. Right, have you mm. stormed many medieval castles, Luke? No, not really. Well, no. we could just go in disguise. Ooh, yeah, or one. get a big ladder or something. Oh, well, that's all good, but we get need to get organised. Um, abo, abo, um... Malt, what is your business? To see the Lord Crunkhorn. There are many arrangements that must be made for the wedding that only a monk can help him with. How come he never told me about your visit? He likes to keep his religious beliefs to himself. He's actually a very private man. OK, in you go. Oh, wicked. Oi! Oh, God, that was going so well. What are you doing? Is this the best you could put me in? Don't walk all over me! Can I help you? Um, can I interest you in some double glazing? Oh, you lot don't have any windows, do you? All right, you've got me. Hello there. I work for the Doomsday Book, and we're presently preparing our new edition. Could you possibly take a moment to fill in this questionnaire? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Mother's maiden name. Oi! Oh, it's spinning me. What's that smell? Sorry about that.
<laughs> Who does he think he is? Kevin Ruddy Costner? He could kill somebody and disarm him, but be careful! Andre! I'm coming! Well, dearie me, Bob, I think he's going to have to find somebody else to get that sword out of the stone for him. Oh, but that's another story, Dave. Yeah, it is. What's it then, you fool? Dad, what are you pointing at? You're not hard, you know. You've got a skirt on, you nana. Oh, boy. Finny, I'm the only one left, mate. You've got to help. Oh, I'm sorry, son. It's more than me job's worth. I've got the pie concession for the wedding. It's the biggest order I've ever had. And I've decided to push the boat out and go for blackberry pies. I mean, there's no knowing where it may lead. Yeah, but I'm not just on about rescuing Olivia. I'm on about getting rid of Crunkhorn. You know, this land should belong to all of you lot, not just him. But you'll never get rid of him for good. He's always going to come back. No, you will if you follow my plan. Well, go on then. What is it? What cunning plan lies within Silas's mind? Has this place got the plague then? Not yet, thank God. The plague, Moss. Latest way of keeping the plague. Not too close. He might have the plague, you know. Symptoms? Why like what? Coughing, sneezing, having a tongue or black, tongue or black, tongue or black, tongue or black. And will it be enough to stop this medieval madness? Find out now on Dangerville. Whatever Silas has planned, Bobby's certainly keeping it close to his chest. Something beginning with W. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Silas, get us out. Yeah, got to do, yeah? Um, Why are you yeah. Doing just take you with me. Why do you if you get just, just, uh, just pretend and just. Uh. And you're not having bear baiting at the wedding. Look, I've told you it's cruel and it's just not happening. But it really isn't down to you. And I'm not wearing that either. Remember, this is on telly. Oh, you're not going to be like this all the time, are you? Yes, well, you're the one that wanted to marry me. Yes, but I didn't realise you'd be so... So what? So... vocal. Don't worry, sir. I've got a solution. Oh, yes. You know, I'd completely forgotten about this. <laughs> and what is that, Tony? That's called a scold's bridle. It's a fairly unpleasant device that men used to use on women if they thought they were talking too much. Well, it's certainly going to have its work cut out with Olivia. That's supposed to be me. You know, I'm not sure. Couldn't you do a nice romantic one with us in a wine glass or something? Have you got the ring? The ring, sir? Yes. Simon? That is one huge pie, Dave. Yes, well, call me crazy, Bob, but I think I've worked out Silas's plan. Mm, me too. And it certainly is audacious. Oh. Could you give us a hand with this wedding pie, please? I, Lionel Ebenezer Aloysius Nigel Crunkhorn, <laughs> take thee, Olivia Newton, to be my lawful wedded wife, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, and thereto I give thee my troth. I, Olivia Newton, take the Lionel Ebenezer Aloysius Nigel Crunkhorn <laughs> to be my lawful wedded husband, to love, honour and obey. Just read it. I'm not obeying. Olivia, this was our agreement. No one said anything about obeying. Very well. Cancel the wedding. Prepare for beheading. All right. To love, honour and obey, to death do us part. Thereto I give thee my truth. Oh, me! My tongue's gone over that! What? Get him away from me!
Challenge complete. Challenge complete. You each win one thousand pounds. Oh, well, they've done it again. Who would have believed it? Yeah, it was a great solution. And all the peasants are free. Crunkhorn's never coming back if he thinks the town's infected with the Black Death, indeed. <laughs> no, all that and a wildly inaccurate history lesson at the same time. No, 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 no. It isn't actually that inaccurate because as the plague took over, the peasants did get more land and they got much more independence from their lords. That's true. What, by jumping out of oversized pies with mouths full of blackberries? That the history books don't tell us. Mm. <laughs> Do you think I'm actually married to Crunk oh, no. no. Did you have a ring on? No, I didn't wear a ring. I think I might have got the last one before you jumped out of the house. They could have been. played a trick on yeah, exactly. you. Yeah, like, when you see people real. on TV when they're, married, they're, they're married, married, they're not really married. That's good. Silas, do you want another pie? No, I'm all right, thanks. I tell you, it doesn't matter what century you're in, but these pies still taste good. I just want to go home and have a shower. Seriously? I kind of like it. There's no school. Right, you can make a mess. And no one even seems to care, so he seems, seems to care. Let's check my chain mail, you with me? Black and the Emperor All this for one programme? You must be mad. What have we got next week? Oh, you must be joking. We can't do that to kids. I'm off. Mm. Love you loads. Bye, Brian. Next time on Dangerville. This is the greatest thing ever to happen to Dangerville. How are we going to wash? What are we going to drink? Dangerville's troubles are oh, no more! I'm sick of all three of you. I want to get out. Uh, that bird's do my head in. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, wicked. We're back. Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. We're back. Thank shower. you. Mine, Thank in. you. Nice television, people. Thank I'm you. All right. I don't need a shower anyway. What are you on about? Your bits of pie and storing in here, you tramp. I'm so glad I didn't make a history. We're back. Oh. <laughs> Where's Finn? Oh, she's still asleep, <laughs> bless her. Oh, I've got an idea. Yeah. Wait for me. I've got to get down my ladders on. Oh, Oi, Finn, wake up. Yeah, Finn, wake on, up. Finn. Wake up, babe. Oh, wicked. Oh. What, what do you mean we're back? You know, in the barn, like working in the fields, oh. the wedding. What was the wedding? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I think you've been dreaming. Are you telling me that I'll never 